My goodness, I don't know where to start. Calls, emails, text messages, social media shout outs, and even flowers that have come in as a result of last week's Black History Breakfast. I am absolutely happy glad, as they say in the Black community. I'm Carol Copeland Thomas, and I'm the founder of the Multicultural Symposium Series and a very, very grateful Zoom director, having now produced my very first Black History Breakfast virtually. We've had 27 breakfast events prior to this uh, since the year 2000, and now because of the pandemic, we shifted everything and went online on Zoom and created an absolutely fantastic event because we had fabulous speakers, honorees, people who were in the audience, members, sponsors, etc. It was a glorious time. So I think I say thank you so much, first of all, to our fab, fabulous panel that included Audrey Rose Wooten, a senior at MIT who spoke with eloquence and clarity as a senior um, about to embark upon a career path, looking at what she's done in school, virtually, obviously, because of the pandemic, but she was an achiever long before that, and what she is going to be doing after the fact, just because she's much more clear on who she is. We then had attorney Rasan Hall, who is the director of the ACLU, the Racial Justice Division, here in Massachusetts, and just talked about where we are now from an uh, economic perspective, from a racial equality perspective, and also looked at it because he is an ordained minister uh, from St. Paul AME Church in Cambridge, just gave a brilliant, brilliant perspective and an outlook on where we are. We then had Karen Hines. I can't say enough great things about her. I remember, remember when she started in business about 23 years ago. She's now an international success. She really talked about diversity, equity, and inclusion from a corporate point of view, and how even white men have a stake to claim when it comes to DEI. We then had Reverend Carrington George Moore, who is the youth and associate pastor at my church, Bethel Amy Church in Boston, and just talked about the strength of the Black church and how the Black church has been a pivotal role model, and a clarion voice of reckoning when it comes to equality and justice for all people of color, particularly those of us in the Black community. We rounded out the panel with E. Dolores Johnson talking about her amazing family, her white mother and Black father who met and married in the 40s, but had to leave Indiana because of the Ku Klux Klan, because of racial discrimination in that, in that state, and how they had to go underground for many, many years as a result of their mixed marriage. It was an amazing, amazing panel. We also want to thank Reverend Howard Jenkins, who is the senior pastor of Bethel AME Church in Providence, Rhode Island, for opening up our session with his wonderful prayer. And Garth Dallas, who created an amazing look at Black History Month in the United Kingdom, which takes place in October. And you're going to hear more about a collaboration that we have where we're going to talk about race from a USA and a UK perspective. Stay tuned for more information about that. In addition to our fabulous audience and people who helped us out, we had some fantastic awardees, 12 of them, including Olivia Adams and Ramu Al-Madi, who was also our DJ. He's been my DJ for many, many years. We honored him at the event. Attorney Annette Green, Segun Adewu, Bonnie Johnson, Robin G. Parker, uh, attorney Angela Makani Skeppers, Daryl Settles, Lisa Simmons, Dr. Brent Smith, Beverly Williams, and Leverett Wing. Wow, they are fantastic. And you can read all of these biographical profiles for those individuals who we honored and also our panel. You can go to mssconnect.com. That's mssconnect.com. Go there and you can read all about them with their biographical profiles. Thank you so much to our sponsors. We're going to actually honor them in another video. We thank each and every one of you for all that you've done. We know that 
with this pandemic, things are so different than they were a year ago, but we forge ahead anyway because of our ancestors, because we know they had it so much harder, and because Black history is American history. Thank you so much.